let me ask you one question. Are you starting to be frugal with your money? You're not spending it or wasting it on things that you absolutely don't need. Well, if this is the case, then you are no different than the majority of US households. Because as we experience rising prices and pressure from interest rate hikes, US consumers are being more frugal than ever before. Now, not only are consumers not spending money in excess on goods and services, but we're also moving away from more discretionary spending and scaling back at all costs. This is good because now is the time to start. Right now, the biggest problem that US households have is they are not making enough money and their expenses are too high. When those two things cross, when their income crosses their expenses and their expenses are now bigger and more expensive than what they actually bring in, well, that means you're actually running a deficit. You have to make more money or the only way to do it is you would either be spending money on credit cards or, and this is a major problem, you default on debts. Now, I know just thinking about it, you're probably thinking, well, saving money, moving away from discretionary spending and, and scaling back to the, the, the things that you only need, this sounds like a really good thing, right? This doesn't sound bad, but economists are now saying that this is their worry because as we do this, US households, again, we're planning ahead. But as we do this, economists are now worried because there's a lack of spending in our economy, which means the US is likely headed towards a recession. Now, this is just the beginning of the problem. We also need to address the US debt ceiling because as US households tend to spend less money, guess what? This is just the start. Then you tack on a US debt ceiling crisis. Again, that's another problem that makes matters even worse. Okay, it blows this whole thing up. Now, let's talk about this. Because on Thursday, May 18th, both parties confirmed that they felt a deal for the US debt ceiling was near. But as of Friday, May 19th, which was yesterday, they say that both parties are stating now that there's too many issues and a deal is no closer than earlier on during the week. So they really didn't get anywhere this week. Now, being that many households are worried about a recession, the big fear of a recession isn't that, oh, the, the US is just struggling, right? The, the worry is layoffs. What happens if people get laid off? Well, let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk about who would be impacted the most. Let's talk about which states are gonna be impacted and which industries are gonna be impacted as well. Now, according to Moody's, and I talked a little bit about this last week, but according to Moody's, they're saying that if the US breached its debt ceiling for just one week, we would slash 1.5 million jobs. The unemployment rate would jump from 3.4% to 5% in that time. So in one week, we would see our unemployment rate go up, okay, 1.6%. They also stated that if a breach lasted for two months, the unemployment rate would go from 3.4% to 7.8%, and we would lose nearly 8 million jobs. Currently, again, we're at 3.4 million. I believe that it, we are at 5.7 million, uh, or at 3.4%. I believe that's 5.7 million people are unemployed. If we go to 7.8, that's more than double. Okay, that's more than double the amount of people we currently have. So who's going to be impacted first? Because again, I know everybody's being trying to be extremely frugal, try to save some money and limit their expenses. Well, which occupation is going to be impacted first? Well, it's actually going to be construction and manufacturing. They say that the reason construction and manufacturing are normally impacted first and usually feel the, the, the brunt of it is because 
that when the economy starts to slow, consumers stop spending money on items that they can touch. This is cars, uh, houses, computers, clothing, things like that. And these two sectors are extremely sensitive in contraction uh, to a contraction in our economy and economic demand. Okay. Now, which demographics are going to be hit the hardest? Well, the, according to Moody's, they say black and Hispanic workers, as well as younger, less educated workers will be hit the hardest. They also say we will see men lose their jobs more than women because men are more concentrated in manufacturing and construction. But what about the states? Well, and this is something I've talked about in the past, certain states are going to be hit the hardest. Some are actually already feeling it. The states that make their, their money from tourism, travel, uh, and the auto industry, these are gonna be impacted the most. So the states that make their money from tourism and travel, they are gonna get hit. This is gonna include Arizona, Florida, and Nevada. If we do end up in this recession, if we do default on our debt ceiling, one of the states that will really feel the impact is Nevada, specifically the Las Vegas area. Okay, so if you live in Las Vegas or you work in Las Vegas, you could be out of a job if this happens. Obviously, again, states that are big in the auto industry are gonna be hit hard as well. Those two states are South Carolina and Michigan. Now, why is all this so important? And, and why do I keep giving an update? Why don't I just wait for the debt ceiling to pass, for the, the bill to pass, for them to agree on something. Well, it's simple. Because now is the time that you need to start. Economists are saying that now is the time. Don't wait. If you are worried about your job, maybe go look for another one. If you are worried about all your, your debt, figure out a way to pay it off. If you're worried about your expenses, limit those expenses. Get rid of the, the gym membership that you go to maybe once or twice a month. You don't need it. If you barely go, don't pay for it. If you barely watch Hulu or Netflix or HBO Max or whatever the, the streaming channels are, get rid of them. You don't need them, okay? That is what we are being told by financial experts is to limit your expenses, okay? Decrease your debts, your monthly debts, okay? Decrease them, get rid of them as soon as possible. If you have to sell a car to get rid of that car payment, do it. That's what they're telling us. Because pretty soon what's gonna happen is things are gonna get less expensive, which means if you have money, you can go and buy these things. But the big issue is that we are headed towards a recession and you could potentially be losing your job. So if you're worried about that, now's the time to start preparing. Don't wait until it's too late. We've been talking about this for many months. It's coming down to pretty much the last 11 to 12 days. So we're gonna see what happens. I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All you gotta do is one thing. Click that subscribe button so you never miss an update. But that's the update I have for you guys today. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 